Ah, Real Monsters is a game based on the classic 90s Nickelodeon cartoon with the same name. And of course, the 90s was the heyday of Nickelodeon and all things entertainment, for that matter. Now, the show was definitely a classic, but this game, not so much. It's not a horrible game, but it's definitely not a good game either. I would say this isn't, ah, real monsters. This Sega Genesis game is more like, ah, real monsters. Or maybe, ah, real monsters. This is basically a 2D platforming game where your objective is to reach the end, but also to do things like scare people and collect specific items in the area that you're trying to reach the end of. You play as all three of the main characters from the classic 90s cartoon, Ikka, Sabrina, and Crumb, and they all have their own specials, like uh, the stick girl, she can get the other guys to form this pyramid, and she jumps on top of them, and they use this basically to climb high ledges that you can't reach by just jumping. The guy who holds his eyes in his hand, his special ability, for example, is to see things that are far away, which is useful when you're not sure where to go. You can switch in between the characters to do the special abilities, but there's no point in switching in between characters if one character takes too much damage because they all share the same health bar. Offensively, all three of the characters can use special scare attacks, which do a lot of damage, and also they can throw various disgusting items, which do a little less damage. There's a lot of levels, an okay variety of levels, and the controls are pretty good, but all the levels just aren't that good looking. I mean, obviously, the game is supposed to be disgusting and scary, but the levels are very much monotone, so everything kind of blends into each other. This game, I think the perfect example of this game would be to say it's an uglier, slightly worse version of Boogerman for the Genesis. Playing this game in the 90s, most kids wouldn't be that impressed, but, but honestly, playing it right now, that nostalgia factor really gives the game a big boost. For us 90s kids, this is playing a part of our childhood. This is reliving the golden years of children's entertainment. It scores brownie points just for that. Ah, real monsters for the Sega Genesis. Also, it's on the Super Nintendo, I believe, but I never played that version. But the Sega Genesis version gets an okay Stan Birdman rating of a 6.6 .6 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.